commencement of the teaching of Portuguese at um, the University of Queensland. My name is Morris Lowe, I'm Director of Internationalisation and Engagement in School of Languages and Comparative Cultural Studies. Um, we're delighted that you're all able to join us this afternoon. Um, as many of you know, um, Lillian Flory has um, started teaching as lector um, in the school and um, it's um, a pleasure to have Portuguese um, taught in, in amongst the school's um, programs. Um, we're fortunate to have a very distinguished speaker today and I'd like to call on the head of school, Associate Professor Greg Hange, um, to introduce the speaker. Thanks, Morris, and thank you to everybody for coming. We are indeed privileged um, to have Professor Fleury here, um, and we're also just so glad um, that Lillian's here as well to teach Portuguese. I can't really, I really cannot emphasize enough how important I think it is for us to finally have Brazilian in the school. It's on quite a small scale at the moment, um, um, but we're hoping that people will realize what a, a vastly important language this is going to be in the global economy that we're moving into and that in fact we're going to be able to grow enrolments to the point where we eventually have a full major in the language. I was at a colloquium recently where a, a very inspiring speaker had two PowerPoint slides. The first one was BRIC, B-R-I-C, and the second one was BRIC with an extra I in the middle. Now this is the acronym that economists these days are using to talk about the major centres of global and economic power over the next 50 years, okay? And the first B in BRIC is, of course, for Brazil, okay? It's an economy which is very much on the move. It's a society which is very much on the move. It's going to be an absolutely huge um, player in the global marketplace, even more so than it is already. For that reason, I think it's important that we have the language. For that reason also, I'm even more pleased that Professor Fleury is here to talk to us today because, um, as I'm sure you're all aware, within our school, you can tell by the very name, the School of Languages and Comparative Cultural Studies, we absolutely stress that language acquisition necessarily comes with uh, cultural competence. Okay? We have to stress that. We will absolutely never um, allow those two things to be divorced. And intercultural competence Notions of multiculturalism are absolutely key to everything that we do within the school. Um, and so we're very, very privileged to have uh, a world specialist in this precise area to talk to us today. So thank you so much for sharing your time with us, Professor Flurry. Let me just tell you a few things about um, Reynaldo. I can't tell you everything because there's just too much, let's be honest. Um, but he got his doctorate in education from the University, the University Estadual de Campinas. And then he was a postdoctoral fellow at the Università degli Studi di Perugia in Italy, and then later at the University of Sao Paulo. Um, and he's currently a professor at the Universidad Federal de Santa Catarina Florianópolis. In addition to this, he's the president of the, Associ of the Association, I'm going to switch languages here, the Association pour la Recherche Interculturelle, and he coordinates the Centre Mover Intercultural Education and Social Movements. He's participated in the activities of the Working People's Education Association for National Research and Graduate Education. He's a member of the Instituto Paulo Freire and other research associations besides. I won't go on because we could be here for a long time. His research covers just as many different disciplines and areas. Um, he's researched in the areas of epistemology, popular education, multiculturalism, inclusive education, and the training of educators. And he's authored or co-authored such titles as The Question of Knowledge in Popular Education, Popular Education and University, Educating for Who, Intercultura, Emerging Research, and Crossing, Emerging Issues and Perspectives in Education Research. Um, we're very, very pleased that he's here. Please join me in welcoming um, <coughs> Professor Fleury. happy to, to, to be here and to talk to you and also here after uh, many things very interesting about your work, about your research. So I would like to, to talk about our 
uh, researches we that we do in our uh, group called Move Air or Move. This is a, a group, a researchers group in Santa Catarina, in the University of Santa Catarina. We study uh, about social movements and interculturalism. With this proverb, Lao Tse, I'd like to begin this speech. I remember the Paulo Freire. He's a great, important uh, pedagogue in Brazil. He lived uh, 1929 to 1997. And his ideas are active in our struggles and utopias. His memory persists in his writings, and the vigor of this, his propositions emerges in the critics and reinventions that scholars, educators, and militants constantly develop and elaborate through different points, different points of view, and in different contexts. <coughs> I refer here to Paulo Freire, not just because he is a Brazilian educator and well-known figure, but rather because he has been extremely influential in guiding my thinking and that of many others in relation to interculturalism. In this talk, I will uh, touch as an int introduction a review of a speech of Paulo Freire about decolonizing knowledge and power. I will highlight some of new social movements that emerge in our contemporary landscape and present new challenges for intercultural education. In the intercultural fields, I will present our research as well as that some others uh, colleagues um, in different things. We will look at how intercultural issues intersect with these social movements, as well as in terms of interethnic relations, intergenerational matters, and finally, in terms in gender issues. I will end with some observations and final points which I hope might facilitate our discussion. I, I hope uh, to uh, profundize some aspects of our researches. I was fortunate to know Paulo Freire personally. I have conflict my master thesis on his famous book, The Pedagogy of the Oppressive. And then, I was a research assistant on some of his projects. In these new papers, articles, there are reports of meetings that Paulo Freire had with popular groups. I was changed, charged with organizing these meetings. And this experience helped transform my thinking about social movements and interculturalism. In these meetings with Paul Freire, we discussed a number of issues, which still inform our thinking about social movement, and which can be summarized as follows. 
authoritarianism is dominant aspect in, in the relation established in our context. And the Freire spoke of this throughout his life. Scientific knowledge seems to be superior to popular knowledge, but this only serves to subordinate and legitimize subjugation. Imposing the submission to popular classes is a structural and systemic problem. Scholars need to engage in understanding and working with the working classes in constructing a new society. Denouncing the colonialism inherent in knowledge construction and power must be understood within a political and historical context. The pedagogical, political and ethical epistemological challenge of forming critical and creative citizens who elaborate the forms of resistance and who negotiate and engage in inequitable power relations must be contextualized. Disconstructing the structures of authoritarianism or decolonizing the apparatus of knowledge and power means increasing the capacity to understand the ambiguities and ambivalence lived on a daily basis and unraveling the threads of macropolitics which form the larger social context. Certainly, an important theme in the printing all of this is that education in many diverse forms especially many emanating from social movements, can serve as a vehicle for transformative change. <clears throat> These new movements resent those in other contexts, but each context is particular and contain, contains specific concerns. In order for a society to transform, there needs to be some articulation between these seemingly disparate groups of our movements. This is how power can be confronted, confronted when these groups mobilize their forces in a common front. The intercultural challenge is to build solidarity without diminishing the distinctiveness of each group. The clear diversity of perspectives that are expressed in the theories and propositions concerning multiculturalism, interculturalism, transculturalism, and other isms involves a conceptual core around which questions and reflections of these fields are evident. What characterizes the most delicate problem of our time is the possibility of respecting the differences, of integrating them in an interaction which does not deny them, but, on the contrary, underscores their distinctiveness. Stimulates creative and vital potential and the connection between different agents and their respective context. This is the fundamental question. How build the union, the unity, respecting the differences. Such complexity can be seen in research and undertaking by different uh, researchers of our groups. For example, uh, 
é, Isabel Orofino e Maurício Sivert. They show that the mass communication media, as well the new educational technology, cause uh, a profound influence of the popular cultures. However, this influence does not manifest itself in a unidirectional and insurable way, as we constantly it is constantly reframed by the social cultural experiences, which have an impact on people's lives and also by cultural mediation experienced by the different groups and social movements. Thus, we can understand the importance of the educational role in the sense of strengthening and the vitality and creativity of these multiple intercultural webs. Webs of action and social communication. So, if also the mass media are a great power, popular movements reinterpret the messages of the mass media. Such complexity can be seen in the research undertaken by Nadira Zibero, who questions the multiplicity of relations and interactions which create the day-to-day -day web, day-to-day -day web and the history or marginalized communities, such as in Florianópolis, Brazil. In the realm of rural social movements, Weaver Barbosa analyzes formative practices of urban workers and rural workers who live in a familiar context nearby the state park of Serra do Brigadeiro, it's in the middle of Brazil. On the one hand, Weaver Barbosa's research reveals the development of ethnic identities, taken as a reference point to peasant social movement, indicating an ambivalence between the ethnic and the political dimension. To the other hand, Nadira Zibeiro's research points out the internal divergences of political, religious, ethnic and cultural nature in communitarian organizations, demonstrating the plurality of elements and the context inherent in them. Thus, these studies on about several contexts of social movement indicate many forms of and different processes to analyze the tension between cultural plurality and political unity as well the tension between the quest of cultural identity and the variety of political options. Our study on interculturalism in field of identities and interethnic relations focuses mainly on the indigenous cultures like in Belenis Grandus studies, the Afro or African Brazilian cultures, which studies by scholars such as Cristiana Tramonti, Márcio Pena Corteal, Anselmo Oliveira, and studies on European immigrant cultures, as in Janiani Dozan's research. These works focus on the interactions between these cultures with other ethnic configurations in Brazilian context. Such studies analyze particular contexts and problematic issues from different theoretic points of view, 
they review nonetheless some general observations. Firstly, enable us to understand that ethnic identities are formed dynamically and in a complex way with the relations between different social and cultural groups. On one hand, we understand that an ethnic group is formed based on cultural practices and common interests by a group of people within a specific social historical background. But, on the other hand, we notice that there is an acknowledgement or labeling from other groups, whether this is a negative or positive gesture, and can stimulate new reinterpretations of meanings that each group attributes to their practices. Therefore, the identity process involves in a fluid, hybrid, and a polysemic way because it is relational. This is exactly what can be inferred by, from the research by Beleni Saletti Grando on the Bororo people and the Cristiana Tramontes studies focused on Brazilian African cultural practices. Secondly, it can be verified that the processes of social organization of economic and political nature are crossed or intersected by processes of constitution and ethnic identification, while the ethnic formation is crossed or intersected by economic mobilizations. Janianis Dozan's work shows precisely that the disputes in the cultural field represent mediation of multiple political disputes, which go beyond the different ideas of, for example, Italianicity undertaken in the southern state of Santa Catarina. Thirdly, the research demonstrates that the popular cultural practices are formed within a powerful frame of social struggle. Cristiana Tramonte's research elucidates precisely that carnival and sub school are as well as the African Brazilian religious practices are important mediations so that the popular classes can earn recognition and the cultural hegemony in Brazilian context. Finally, finally, it's important to consider the ethnic the interethnic dimension in the pedagogical relation. As Anselmo Oliveira shows, we could identify the stereotypes and prejudices that emerge in schools systematically and on the, a daily basis, basis, as well as within educators and researchers' imagination. This becomes clear in our socio-poetic research. By other side, it seems necessary to elaborate cultural strategies from popular backgrounds related to the education, training and learning of educators. As Marcio Pena Corte Real has recently done in his studies related to capoeira. Uh, 
The third dimension, third theme, is about interculturalism and the generations. In, in relations between generations, we understand the importance of considering the specificity, specificity and the complexity of the cultural and the generational experiences in children, teenagers, adults, and seniors. We need to perceive and, and understand learners as cultural agents, authors of experience and protagonists of relations established in complex social context. This seems to be the foundation of a dialogical and intercultural education relation. In this intercultural perspective concerning early childhood education, Maria Isabel Porto de Souza did a research that presents strategies of intercultural education. Cleonice Tomazetti develops as well the idea of educational action research as important mediation to stimulate dialogically the networks of knowledge and human experiences created by children among themselves and with adults. Marta Xavier studies focus on literacy of young, adult and older people in a religious context. She demonstrates that the official and religious discourses intend to de determine the identity of the illiterate adult. The lived experience by these people reveal singularities which do not fit within the institutional categories. And this can promote multiple readings and writings of diverse human realities. Such attention is part of the crucial challenge endured by all educators. That is, the need to recognize and be sensitive to interculturality, the subjective and the cultural difference of the learners. Fourth theme is about intercultures and gender. In our research group, we started to undertake studies on gender. Rosalie Schmitz examined gender relations in daily interactions within early childhood education for children between four and five years old. Rosangela Stephen Vieira explored the theme of gender in relation to generational matters. She analyzing how the representation of sexuality and gender are constructed and assimilated by young people who live in the camps of landless rural workers' movement, o MSK, as well as the interfaces between such representations and the context in which they live, marked by political militancy. Another important contribution for discussion on gender in our research group was given by Silvana Maria Bittencourt, who has been studying the construction of female identity in Brazilian contemporaneity. However, the broader and deeper focus of research on gender relation took place during the development of the Rizoma project and the second international seminar on intercultural education 
gender, and the social movement. There is almost 300 works, papers published in this, in, in this Congress. Uh, they are disponible in that uh, site. The dialogue on gender relations has been very enriching, especially to understand the intercultural challenges that emerge in the development of gender identities and subjectivities. The multiplicity of meanings which appears nowadays through actions of large movements concerning gender and sexuality issues sets the challenge to work educationally when facing prejudice and social political discrimination rooted in our history in, and in our cultures. At the same time, this shows the necessity to assume and develop in the pedagogical process the dimension of gender and sexuality as an essential, <coughs> delicate and the complex factors in the development of subjectivities and social cultural identities. So, the process of research conducted by the group MOVER indicates the complexity that the intercultural perspective shows in the practice of social movements. They are multiple social agents who, from different con cultural contexts, unfold relations of power and knowledge which articulate different political apparatus, different languages and semiotic fields, articulating different dimensions and epistemic fields. The friction between the different <coughs> force fields resulting from the actions of different social agents constitute the in-between like says Homi Baba, in which paradoxes, ambivalences, contradictions, tensions, challenges emerge, mobilizing the urge of the new and calling the attention of the different social agents in general and in particular of all educators. Therefore, the challenge for intercultural education is to collect, to understand, to enable, to facilitate and underscore the urgence to develop and support new tools and social cultural movements that promote life and human ecological interactions aiming the equality of rights and opportunities and the respect for individuals and collectivities, illustrating equity and the difference in an emancipatory and solidary perspective, in constant tension with the mechanism of submission and exclusion. This is some ideas to begin our conversation. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much, Professor Fleury. Um, thank you very much for introducing us to the, group, to the work of the group of Mother and also um, telling us about the challenges of living in a very diverse multicultural society. Um, we learned about how um, Professor called for social movements, um, recognizing the importance of social movements for change and the need for cooperation between minorities to confront power, and also called for intercultural education that promoted equality 
of rights and opportunities of various groups as well. So today he's given us uh, um, some insight and a window to this large body of work and it's fascinating to, to hear all about, about that. Um, I'd like to open it up for questions now. Um, some of you have access to copies of the paper and you'll be pleased to hear that the um, Professor Flores talk today will be on, eventually on YouTube and we'll be making um, copies of the PowerPoint presentation available as well. Um, but um, please um, um, direct any questions that you might have to Professor Flory now. It's a special opportunity. <coughs> Craig? Yeah. Many thanks for your talk. It's, it's a fascinating but I kind of scary field, I think, because the way I read what you've presented is that in fact the complexities of the intercultural situation increase exponentially. In other words, we tend to think about the intercultural situation as one which just kind of crosses language or national boundaries. But it seems to me that what you're bringing into the fray to consider also under the umbrella term of interculturality is also these gender relations and ethnicity and class and so on and so forth. So I guess my question is, do, do you feel that each of those, or do you have um, knowledge of research that thinks about whether in fact all of those other kinds of relations that we can situate within the same kind of discourses and paradigms as into the, how we would normally think about interculturality, do they work in a transnational way? Or in fact, does do each of those have to be thought about within a nationally or culturally bounded set of parameters? So in other words, are gender relations in Brazil entirely different to gender relations in Australia? Or in fact, are there ways in which they can, the ways we think about those can usefully inform other, other nations? I... I beg your pardon, because my English, my 200 words, <laughs> <laughs> is uh, enough only to, to read. So uh, maybe I can answer in Spanish or French and uh, uh, solicit the translation to Roberto, or our friend. Espanol, no Francis. Máximo de quien lo Eu posso falar, falar bem em espanhol, português, francês, mas o meu inglês, eh, eu os quero um ano mais para poder ser, estar mais fluente. Roberto. Bom, bueno, eh, por que vou eh, resolver a, a demanda, a questão? Ah, diga. Eu acho que a pergunta básica de este professor sí. é que si las relaciones interculturales son, se tienen que considerar dentro de una sociedad o país, so, de, dentro de una cierta nacionalidad, mm. o si se puede extrapolar a otras eh, en forma general, si se sí. puede generalizar. De manera internacional. Sí. Mm. Bueno. Y sobre todo cuando estamos hablando, por ejemplo, de las preguntas de, de la clase. Entonces, entonces podemos hablar de eso. Well, is anyone speaking in English? <laughs> so, interculturalidad. Someone want to summarize? Interlinguism is a dimension, important dimension of uh, culturality. So, uh, Yo hablo frase por frase español. Uh -huh. eh, yo creo que la, las, la interculturalidad eh, es un tema muy complejo porque tiene significados muy diferenciados según los diferentes contextos. Uh, I believe that interculturality is, is, a, is a complex issue and I believe that uh, that is defined according to the context uh, of where it's enunciated. Sí. Y, por ejemplo, el termo interculturalidad tiene significados muy diferentes 
eh, en Latinoamérica entre los pueblos ancestrales y la interculturalidad como se propone hoy en el mercado internacional. So that interculturality has different meanings, for instance, amongst indigenous peoples in, in Latin America, uh, in contrast to, let's say, uh, in the more sort of global, international sphere. Podemos llamar interculturalidad los, los esfuerzos, los estudios, para formar estudiantes y profesionales que puedan trabajar en todas las partes del mundo. We can call, in, we can name interculturality uh, to researchers or students who are, are able to work or, or, or study uh, in, a, in a global environment. Yeah. Esta, esta es una necesidad colocada por la internacionalización del mercado y de la, y de la internacionalización de la comunicación y las tecnologías. And, the, and so this is due to, of course, globalization, the, uh, the internet and so on. Uh, En Latin America, uh, in, in America Latina, los pueblos ancestrales hoy se reconstruyen su propuesta como movimiento social y político. So that indigenous peoples in Latin America are now reconstructing their voice as, uh, as social movements, uh, in, also in a political sphere. No solo como movimientos campesinos o como movimientos obreros. So not, not only as workers' movements or peasant movements. Pero como movimientos étnicos, movimientos que requieren una, ser reconocidos en su identidad étnica ancestral. Uh, and to be also recognized as ethnic and uh, ancestral peoples within their context. Mm, por ejemplo, en Bolivia, Perú, Ecuador, estos movimientos uh, aún México son muy fuertes. So, for instance, movements such as those in Bolivia, in, in Peru, in uh, Ecuador, and of course those in, uh, in, uh, in Mexico mm -hmm. uh, are quite strong. And, uh, sí. Así, uh, proponen una perspectiva eh, de interculturalidad eh, conectada a una dimensión política de transformación de las estructuras económicas y políticas eh, globalizadas. So the, the, the perspective that they're proposing uh, this uh, uh, indigenous social movement is uh, a different one to, that is to counteract the, the, the hegemonic uh, perspective. Así podemos, por ejemplo, la pregunta, eh, encontrar elementos transversales comunes, pero también dimensiones diferenciadas según los intereses y las perspectivas políticas, económicas, sociales de los diferentes pueblos. So that we can find, as going to Greg's question, uh, common elements, but also uh, peculiarities yeah. that are common to, uh, to those particular peoples. Entonces podemos encontrar sobre, sobre el mismo nombre, interculturalidad, diferentes proposiciones. Muy, uh, so with the term of interculturality there will be subcategories of, of different definitions uh, of it, depending on the context. Mm -hmm. Pero también el contrario, las mismas propuestas Pueden asumir en diferentes contextos nombres y perspectivas eh, de acciones semejantes. So that uh, these perspectives can also uh, uh, find um, practice in, in, uh, in different uh, movements. Yeah. yeah. Sí. For, uh, por ejemplo, the multicultural education in los Estados Unidos. For instance, multicultural education in the United States. Uh, in America del Norte, propone la convivencia democrática entre diferentes grupos sociales y étnicos. Pro proposes uh, the, um, the living together or the tolerance of different, within a democratic system of different ethnic yes. uh, and cultural groups. Esta misma idea, proposición, es llamada en Europa como educación intercultural. 
this concept is in Europe is termed as intercultural education. Mas in Europa se preocupa mais com os imigrantes delas ex colonias, como insertá-los em uma sociedade. Uh, because in the European context, uh, they have to deal with uh, migrants coming from their former colonies coming to live in in the in the European countries, formerly colonial powers. Also, the 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 term, uh, assim também o termo é transculturalismo, pode ter diferentes conotações. So the term, for instance, transculturalism can have different connotations. Podemos entender como a búsqueda de las dimensiones comunes entre todas las culturas. It can be understood as the search for commonalities among cultures. En, por ejemplo, ciertas prácticas fundamentales religiosas o culturales como el matrimonio, los ritos de iniciación. So, practices or rites such as uh, practice of initiation, uh, marriage. So, de un modo o de otro existen diferentes culturas. So in, a way, in, in different ways, but they appear in, in different cultures. Por otro lado, se puede, como un poco propone Clifford Geertz, ¿no? un antropólogo muy reconocido que trabajó el concepto de cultura, él propone un concepto, una idea diferente. Que Clifford hoy, Geertz propone una idea diferente, propone una idea diferente de antropólogos. Eh, no interesa el buscar el común, el igual, el semejante entre las culturas. He does not search for commonalities among the culture. Pero la especificidad, la particularidad. He searches for the specificity of the or the particularities of culture. As, uh, cultures. De, de modo que se puede comprender la la particularidad creada por cada grupo. So that one can understand the. Uh, particularities created by each cultural group. Y esto, this Clifford Gertz, and this is Clifford Gertz, es el esencial, la esencia humana, la capacidad is, de crear particularidades. the human essence of human creativity, yeah. human cultural creativity. Así, así, en resumen, las diferentes concepciones, las diferentes proposiciones interculturales, so to sum up the different propositions or perspectives of interculturality no no puede resumirse en una propuesta común porque son muy diferentes entre sí. cannot be boiled down to a, a common proposal because of their differences pero es, es, es justamente esta diversidad e imposibilidad de encontrar un, una media so this uh, diversity and the impossibility of finding a, a median <coughs> que constituye la, el desafío fundamental de la interculturalidad. Which constitutes the uh, challenge of interculturality. Un poco la idea que propuso en el inicio, que el gran desafío intercultural, the great uh, challenge of interculturality, que cómo promover la relación, la interacción, is how to promote the uh, interaction and coming together que normalmente es muy conflictuosa, which can be quite conflicting. Eh, como promover esta relación entre diferentes, construyendo una relación sin anular las diferencias. So how to create a, a relationship of commonality or solidarity without uh, erasing the differences. Justamente porque es estas singularidades y estas diferencias que promo promueven la creatividad because it's these singularities in these particularities that promote creativity in the particular en la posibilidad de cada uno crecer and the possibility of, of them growing yo no respondí específico entonces por ejemplo la cuestión de género so the question of gender el movimiento los movimientos, los diferentes movimientos so different, uh, movements of gender movements. Son eh, sobre la cuestión de género proponen diferentes, hacen diferentes propuestas so put different, uh, proposals. pero también estos movimientos conquistaron hoy una dimensión internacional But these groups today have 
uh, an international uh, profile and dimension. For example, let's see a little bit that the movements of uh, gender in Australia, for instance, I see that the, the, the gender movements in Australia, que são muito fortes e específicos, que seem to be quite strong and, and specific, são similares à la força também de los movimentos de gênero em Brasil. Ah, similar to and in sync to the gender movements in Brazil. Isto podemos constatar em el Congresso de 2003. This we could uh, ascertain in the 2003 Congress. Que evidenciou la vitalidade e a multiplicidade de propostas e conceitos uh, showed the multiplicity of uh, perspectives e de, de proposições políticas e de ideias que estes movimentos projects and ideas que estes movimentos estão construindo which they, these movements are building okay. anyone want to take over? <laughs> <laughs> Eu sí. eh, me gostaria também de conhecer as pessoas, se pode dizer os nomes. Eu gostaria de conhecer as pessoas que estão aqui. Deixa eu ver. Você pode levantar a mão e dizer o nome. Nós temos uma pergunta aqui. Meu nome é Lachlan Hurst. Eu trabalho com a uh, União Nacional de Educação Nacional aqui na ah. Universidade de Queensland. Mm -hmm. And I met you at the Mount Cook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, to return to Paolo Freire's idea of the transformative role of education, uh, I'm interested to hear about the application and uptake of the findings of the research that you've done, that your group's done, in educational movement in Brazil, either at official or unofficial and popular levels. Is there a connection between the research that's being done and and uh, that movements that are that view the importance of education in that social transformation process? ¿Cuál es la la importancia del de la educación en los movimientos sociales en Brasil de los cuales está estudiando colegas. Sí. Eh, no. ¿Cuál es la aplicación? La aplicación. ¿Cuál es la aplicación? ¿Cómo ha sido llevada a la práctica pedagógica? La pedagógica. Sí. Sí. Es interesante porque... Ok, no, So this research that I mentioned here we're done until 2006. So we were motivated by the in trying to understand in a theoretical framework the complexity of the culturality at a particular period in Brazil. Yeah. Uh, Pero esta pregunta nos remete a una fase seguinte. seguinte. So this, your question refers to a, another stage of this. Of our process. research. Eh? Uh, porque después de 2006, nos dedicamos mucho a elaborar los refer referenciales, no solo epistemológicos, pero también pedagógicos, didácticos, para la formación de los educadores populares en la dimensión intercultural. ¿Después de cuándo? Eh? Después de 2005, 2006. So after 2005, we devoted a considerable amount of time in developing uh, educators in... ¿Qué elementos? Eh, sobre todo elementos didácticos, pedagógicos para la formación de los educadores in the formation of the training of, of educators. So, entonces, Pablo, um, y fico, fico, eh, debo entonces hacer una otra charla después para explicar más. I will have to give you another about. presentation in a, in a year or so time to um, tell you that. La próxima será sobre este tema. Pero, eh, por ejemplo, 
Uh, How for instance, for example? Uh, Hicimos una investigación acción junto con los maestres de capoeira. So we did a research with the teachers of capoeira. <coughs> para la formación de pedagógica de estos maestres. For the pedagogical training and formation. Que tienen una, una formación específica en la cultura de la capoeira muy densa. Which have a very uh, strong and, and deep um, formation in, in the capoeira culture. Así compusimos grupos de investigación de acciones compuestos de estudiantes, profesores de la universidad. So we had, um, mm, the participants were um, scholars and students from the university. Junto con maestres. Together eh, with teachers of. Eh, aprendices de, 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 de capoeira. Of capoeira. Eh, hicimos por tres años We did this for about three years. un proceso de formación de una red bastante amplia uh, de estos, a, a wide network de estos eh, educadores populares. Of these, uh, popular popular eh, desarrollamos justamente una oh, perspectivas metodológicas so pedagógicas pedagógicas Baseadas en el diálogo, Based on dialogue, en la problematización de la realidad social, on the problematization of social reality, y en desarrollo de estrategias, estrategias de relación in the pedagógica, of, uh, participantes, strategies. Yeah, participantes ¿no? de, de, de participación constructiva de la relación educativa. In developing a constructive relationship in, in the uh, pedagogical formation. Uh, y varias investigaciones de um, mestrado y doctorado. So, in several research projects at master and PhD level. Uh, analizaron aspectos de estas, de esta, de esta investigación. Aspects of, of, uh, of this project. Yeah. Uh, por ejemplo, yo cité Marcio Pena Corte Real. Sí, so eh, Marcio uh, Pena Corte Real. Él es un maestro de capoeira. Who is a teacher of capoeira. Que ingresó en la universidad y ahora es un doctor y profesor en la universidad. Who entered the university and did a PhD and is now a lecturer at the university. Y, hay, y Florianópolis se tornó... Uh, centro de producción de investigaciones sobre la capoeira la, la más importante en Brasil. The Florianópolis is, is now has become a center, an important center, or perhaps the most important center in the research of, of Tenemos más de 10 investigaciones de mestrado o doctorado. We have so 10 uh, researchers working at master's and PhD level. Un otro tema capoeira. que nos llamó mucho la atención es la inclusión de las personas con diferencias o deficiencias eh, de visión de audición the, the other other projects that we have undertaken is looking at people who have um, handicap handicap yeah. uh, visual pero otro, empezamos a trabajar desde el punto de vista de la inserción de la inclusión en las prácticas educativas y sociales and their involvement in uh, Education. And education level and in the workplace. Pero teniendo claro que son más que eh, personas, son de movimientos sociales que tienen propuestas culturales específicas. So they're, they're not just individuals, but rather form part of social movements who uh, wish for uh, right yeah, propuestas políticas como por ejemplo el movimiento de los sordos 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 no yeah, the deaf. movement of the deaf 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 people yeah yeah que es un movimiento que quiere que quiere ser reconocido como movimiento que tiene una cultura y una lengua propia so it's a movement that wishes to be recognized as one which has a culture and a language of its own. 
Entonces, por ejemplo, esta es una, una idea bastante interesante. Esta, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo desarrollar estrategias? So how, how the question is how to develop strategies. Eh, dialógicas eh, en, encajadas, eh? encajadas como se dice? Uh, comprometidas uh, socialmente. Uh, Committed, engaged. engaged. Yeah. 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 Eh, ¿Cómo desarrollar estas eh, estrategias pedagógicas y sociales eh, en la práctica cotidiana de las escuelas y de los alumnos? So and, and, the and, the and the social movement. No solo, es una, una perspectiva muy importante. Y particularmente, en otro aspecto, el grupo, el Instituto Paulo Freire, que es ahora un, un, más que un instituto, es un movimiento internacional que tiene sede en muchos países, eh, propone también diferentes proyectos y particularmente el Instituto Paulo Freire de São Paulo, al cual yo estoy ligado, tiene propuestas interesantes. We actually, we actually have refreshments waiting outside for one, but I'd like to just take one.